I don't know what's just happened there, it's just flipped its lid. So now I'm going to have to repair my truck because it's on 44% damage. I don't need any rest, I need to repair my pissing truck now. Good job, I'm at a service shop, isn't it? Think I am anyway.
Well, that was an interesting start to the video, wasn't it? Seeing my truck doing backflips. I've got 44% damage, so the first thing I'm going to have to do before we're going to get on this consignment of tyres the Nogales is to visit a truck dealership and get our truck repaired. I've done a few jobs offline, done a circle up to back to home base at uh, Alcor, come back down, got 82,000 in the bank. So, what we're going to have to do before we start is go down Highway 10, get our truck repaired. And then we're going to have to get off on our journey, which is going to put us a few hours behind in game time. So come on, jump in the passenger seat and we'll get this uh, show on the road. But first things first, repair time. I'm having trouble starting the truck. Keeps cutting out on me. Rather than doing what uh, the map is telling us to turn left, I'm going to have to turn right. Back on. Back on the interstate. Highway. In the UK, it's a motorway. Now this is a short trip of 182 miles. Nagalis could be a bit well it'll be about 200 <clears throat> by the time we've finished. Rather than turning right onto Highway 10, we're going to be turning left. We're going to be heading towards uh, Rishis, I think it is. Thank you. Maybe trying to grind the gears. I really don't know how much this cost me. And whilst I'm offline, I do. Uh, longer journeys because if I tried to do it recording it'll take an absolute edge and it means that a bit time lapsed I like to keep the videos around less than an hour try anyway
trying to keep my speed up as not to cause any accidents at the back and I get I not to get somebody to run into the back of me Vipers? What it is? Womp! Oh dear me, calling for a vehicle inspection now as well. Give me no favours, mate. Speed limit up to 75. Yeah, all I did was uh, open it up to where I parked it and then they were doing backflips on me. I think what had happened where I'd left it parked, I think another vehicle spawned in its place. And as I've restarted the game, I've spawned on top of the vehicle. Caused a conflict. I didn't think this place was that far out. So we're coming off at the next junction. We'll get our truck repaired. And then we can start proper. Not in need of any rest. I've got a full tank of fuel.
to bully my way out of here. Well, that's not too bad. Thought to pay 4,000. $33,000 worth of damage. Forty five per cent damage to the cabin. Got these. Let's get on our way. You donkey, honest. Come on, mate. Thanks a lot. Quite a long trail of this. Artist. There's 40 tons of tyres on it. Yeah, I've done a few longer jobs online, uh, offline, sorry. He's not going to stop. Cruise control up to 70. If you haven't already done so, and you're watching this video for the first time, that subscribe button, 
press the bell notifications for any further publications and give me a thumbs up it helps my little channel out a little bit more gets my videos promoted a little bit more um, got another series of Euro Truck Simulator running parallel to this where it's a 30 mile per hour challenge and also parallel to that I have an FSX career mode with FS Economy running where I'm trying to get my aircraft back from New Zealand to Manchester which is my home base It's slowing down for me. Oh dear, where is Shedit's Lord? Hey, bloody hell, you know he got that saw. Rubber necking. So we're not used to the term rubbernecker. Uh, somebody who sees an accident and soars down to take a good look at Gorp. Take photographs, take videos. <coughs> awesome online. This is what I've seen today, blah blah blah. I used to, I still do work in the transport industry, and I used to drive a van for a company over in shower screens, and I had to, I saw an accident on the M62. And it absolutely burned me away from it. I packed in my job and everything because of what I saw. Pulling for another vehicle inspection. Yeah, no problem. Because of what I saw, um, I had to. I pulled in at the next services. I absolutely threw up. Horrific. Changed my whole concept in life. And. I'm not going to go into details. Too graphic. Brings back memories, but I had to pull into the path of what I'd seen. But the thing I found most horrific was the amount of people that were rubbernecking with it, making videos of such a tragic scene. Sick of me to my stomach. At the end of the day, lives were lost. The fatalities, and no one making pictures. Doing videos of uh, dead bodies. Not nice.
the bloody truck. What caused that accident then? The AI on this is still numb. I'm going back to what I was discussing. Yeah, uh, I've got to a stage now where I just deliver the locally. Where, near where I live, kind of all over the country. But the thing is, with transport industry and distribution industry, that once it's in your blood, it's never out. And I, I do get itchy. Whereas I do want to go back and and get back on the motorways and. England and Scotland and Wales because for all its built up areas we do live in a very green and pleasant land I used to love travelling all over the place. I used to love travelling all over the country. I was my own boss. Never got any. How do I put it? Mithering from the firm I was working for, because they knew I was I was decent at my job. I was good at my job. If I had any problems, or there were any problems, I'd contact them. Or if there was extra deliveries to be picked up, that was the only time they'd contact me. But I've not worked from now for nearly seven years. And the good thing about it is that I still stay in contact with them. And don't in contact with the managing directors and everything and the, most, the managers that are there and some of the lads that are there just at this moment in time not viable for me to even apply for a job there I know there's a job there, there's always jobs there, not viable at the point in time. Maybe one day. Never know. And the thing is, now I don't have the license to drive a truck. What happened in England is we used to when you used to pass your driving test, this is before I passed mine, you used to have a thing called grandad rights. And what that allowed you to do drive a box truck up to the weight of seven and a half tons. And you used to be able to drive that on your car license. Now, I passed my test in 2001. I passed my test fairly late to my age. Because I'm in me mid to late 40s. Off there. So I'm in my mid to late forties. 
Oh, I didn't pass my test till I was in my late twenties. And by that time, it taken Grandad rights off the license. So if I want to drive a truck now, I have to go through a test. I just don't want um, you can't just pass your te you can't just go in for your lorry test and automatically gain an Arctic license pass one license you have to go pass four class two class one it wasn't on red, it was on green! Oh, he's got no chance of getting his delivery. Still 63 miles away. Oh. Yeah, you've got to pass your class 4 and then class 2 and then class 1 and then you class as a professional driver. Now I've got experience of driving Class 4, got experience of driving class 2, and class 1 Arctic, I've driven the tractor units, thanks mate, I've driven the tractor units, but I haven't driven it with a trailer on. In the UK, it costs around fifteen hundred pounds, something like that, to get through your class two. I think it's about thousand pounds for your class four, fifteen hundred pounds for your class two, and about eighteen hundred pounds for your class one. Eventually, one day, it's on the bucket list for doing this. I will do it. We won't be so late with this delivery. We're not late yet, but we won't be so late if it wasn't having to go to visit the repair shop, which was 780 miles on our journey, 160 miles altogether. Not coming off at this junction. I 
I don't have time to reverse it into the base, so I'll just go straight into parking it. We're going into Nagali shopping area. Oops. Eagle out fire over. No signs have been harmed either today. It's unusual. By one car. Crashed into one car. That wasn't my fault. Clip the side and hold it. Perfect a mondo. No, no late fee either. Oh, that's decent. $6,900, 593xp. I was still about $85,000 off getting another truck. Um, still $600. 650 XP off going up to the next level. I'll call that a day. Till next time. I hope you'll join me again. If you like it, if you like this truck simulator, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and hit the like button. It helps my little channel out. With that, until next time. I'll join you shortly. Happy trucking.